everyone and welcome back to my studio. I hope you're having a good day. I want to try something brand new. I have never ever tried this. So this will be fun. I hope. Um, I watched on this past Friday Lori Houston do some flower pops. They are always so gorgeous. She is the queen of the flower pop. And it inspired me to give it a try. So, who knows? May work, may not, but we're gonna try. So, let's go down to the canvas. Hold on. Okay, we are down to the canvas. Now you will notice this canvas is not so clean looking, and that is because I started to do the painting and I dropped something right plop in the middle. Um, big oops, scraped it, cleaned it up, and we're gonna start over. So, let me go through the colors. All of our colors today are mixed with mixed pour. So if you'd like to get mixed pour, please contact Krista at Krista8974 and she will give you mix. So they are all paint, mix, and water for consistency. So our colors are going to be Liquitec Basics Quinacridone Magenta, Artist Loft Neon Pink, Artist Loft Vermilion, and for a little contrast, some Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. I have a tiny bit of leftover, which I'll probably throw in here, Arteza Electric Yellow, just for some more contrast. For my leaf work, I've got a little bottle with some Lime Green. I've got a wee bit of Master's Touch Black that I might throw in to the stem work. And my swipe color and my color for my color pops will be Liquitec Basics Titanium White. So that's what's in that little bottle. So if I understand how to do this correctly, we're going to throw our colors down, we're going to swipe, and then we're going to do the color pops and see what happens. Hopefully this will work. Just checking my consistency on some of these paints real quick. That one was looking a little thick. I don't want your paints to be too thick because we are swiping. All right, so first job is to basically cover the canvas in paint. So we need lots of paint. And we're just randomly putting it on here. There's no rhyme or reason or pattern other than to cover everything. similar to how you would do like a chaos pour. Just throw it all down. Let them start to blend. And when we blow, we'll bring up the different colors. I'm going to be a little more sparing with this one. Don't want too much of this. touches of electric yellow here and there to pop out. Get that nice blue contrast. Make something a little different. I have some 20 Deco Art Americana Decor 24K Gold. I'm just going to drizzle a little of that on here, too. Why not? People, don't limit yourself. a bit, get my sides, start blending that paint a bit, get my sides and corners a little. Make 
make sure everything's covered well. And then we're going to do our swipe. going to swipe with some bounty paper towel. It's been slightly damped on the end. We're going to take our white paint and make a big puddle of white up here at this top end to pull over the top of everything. And we'll see if this works. Make sure that paper towel is set down in that paint. And we're going to pull it across the top. pull too fast. Oh, that's great. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to tilt just a little that way to sort of clean up that top edge a bit. Before we move on. Okay. Oh, that came out nice. All right, we're going to let that sit a second and give that a torch. And we will be ready to try a flower pop. I get those bubbles. That's a stubborn little one over there. I'm not sure it's a bubble. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, according to the theory, we're going to put a little dot of white. where we're going to blow from. Oh, look at that. Well, I'm happy.
Oh, I'm liking these. some tiny ones. Oh, mother not. Oh, that's looking so pretty. Pretty. All right, let's do some stems. See if I can get that to work. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some black down first, and then put the green over top, just to. on top of the black.
accenting. Make a little more definition to some things. Too much black there. I love how this big cell came up right where that petal is. Just giving a little more definition. There is a huge cell mass right in here. <laughs> First try, I'm happy. All right, let me torch this. I'm seeing bubbles everywhere. Bubbles weren't, all those cells were actually something I was going for, but I'm not arguing. That's pretty cool. It's like a big cell storm going on in the middle here and, and this like this leaf like popped up all these cells. Oh I think for a first try that came out awesome. Okay, I'm gonna clean up my edges and I'll bring it down for a close-up. Hold on. Okay. I wasn't expecting so many cells. This is something else. So I'm gonna start going up get into the first very big cell area. I love this flower over here. And look at this cell that just like blew up around it. That is so cool. I love all the colors that came up in that flower. Go down the middle here. We got some more of those cells. Oh, so many cells in the middle there. Totally unexpected. Let me go up on this end. There's less cells on this side, but Still, the flowers came out beautiful. I'm loving the color combination. Oh, look at this. Ooh. Thank you for the inspiration, Lori Houston. I am loving this. Let's let this dry and I'll show you the dry results. Okay, we have dry results on my first flower pop. I'm pretty happy with this. I can see some areas where I need some improvement, but I am happy for a first try. Now, remember how I'm always saying make sure your canvas is level. And I did not do a good job on this one because we did have a little shift. So it made some things a little wonky. Uh, and we lost, we lost part of that flower. And this one shifted a little bit over towards the side. It really only affected this half of the 
picture, but other than that, I am really happy. Now, one thing I didn't expect was all these cells. So be careful what paints you choose if you don't want 10,000 little cells to come up um, in your swipe. But I'm happy with those results too. Really proud. This is my favorite flower over here. Look at this one. Whoa, look at all those colors. Oh, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your presence. Please leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Lori Houston, for the inspiration for this one. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Goodbye.